Hey folks, uh, welcome back to my vlog. Um, yeah, I'm uh, really sorry. I um, haven't uh, uploaded a video in uh, a little while. Um, I don't know if I even mentioned in my last video that um, I wasn't feeling well and all this stuff and blah, blah, blah. Um, it's only in the last maybe like two days that I started feeling much better um, from before. Like I didn't even feel like talking to any of my friends or even family members, uh, I didn't even feel like just talking. I just didn't have the strength or energy or will. I don't know what I was. I was coming over some kind of a an infection. Um, plus, I've been having for the last almost three weeks. Um, it's probably with my stomach. Uh, uh, felt really pukey. It was like I can say, I guess. Zero appetite, like absolutely no appetite. Um, it was great for the weight loss, I guess, but it wasn't wasn't pleasant. Um, so as 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 my supposed to have surgery, right, on um, last Tuesday, but the surgery was canceled. Um, I don't don't remember if I made a. I don't remember if I if I've already mentioned it to you guys. I'm sorry if I've been everything just been kind of blurred to me. You know the last week or so because i just been so sick and anyway um the operation was canceled and um because the doctor that was coming from the other hospital was sick um uh so now the surgery is planned for tomorrow uh today is monday april 17th so yeah, tomorrow, April the 18th, so I, I, I had to um, get my button gear and, and, and uh, make this video for you guys, because uh, I know I've, I promised a video after my surgery and I never said it, never made one video because even letting you guys know that the surgery was canceled, uh, but I apologize, like I said, um, I, I was in the mood for absolutely nothing, um, not even to make a YouTube video. I, my mom was getting mad at me for, for me not even calling her. He's like, oh, you don't want to talk to me anymore. It's just, like I said, I even just talking was just too much for me. Um, that's how crappy I felt. Um, but anyway, uh, just want to get in touch with you guys and uh, let you know that I'm okay now, sort of, still on medication. Oh, so instead of the operation, a big part of, I'm missing here. So instead of the operation last Tuesday, they still drag me down into the operating room. They put me under to put a scope, uh, a scope down my throat um, to see if anything was going on. And sure enough, they found ulcers. Not one, not two, three ulcers. Three ulcers they found. Um, and they said that uh, could have been very well from the uh, the last medication, the, that pregnisone that I was trying to wean off of, that steroid. They said that's a really strong and crazy drug and most likely what caused it. And I'm like, great, that thing just messed me up all kinds of stupid medication. So yeah, if your doctor wants to put you on a thing called pregnisone, preg preg prednisone, um, steroid medication, yeah. Look into it, Google a lot of things about that. It's a really, really crazy, crazy medication, man. But uh, it, fi it fixed my problem, I guess, with my platelets I was having, if you guys remember how my immune system was killing my platelets. Um, well, this apparently fixed it, so my platelets are doing good, even though I'm off that drug, so, you know, even though it took two weeks, two and a half weeks of suffering after being off that uh, fully final last, my last medication of that prednisone stuff, food last after that two weeks, even... I was like having withdrawals from it or something because I would be like cold. I'd have like all kinds of blankets on me and heated blanket and uh, just be shivering and shivering all cold all the time, feeling like weak and just want nothing but sleep. And I slept and slept for two, three days. It was, it was great, it was great, it was glorious, glorious sleep. I was like, I love sleep, but it was, it was, I was feeling crap with my stomach problem and all that. Oh, it wasn't, it was bad. Bad. and my sugar levels were dropping because I couldn't eat um, if I tried to eat a little bit I would you know vomit and then want to come right back and, and just a feeling from eating or drinking I didn't want to have that extra feeling on top of being feeling sick 
already so I just like whatever they had me on IV to get fluids in me because um, even water I, I, I couldn't anyway um, so yeah they found the three ulcers I'm getting medi medication for that now and whatever to take care of it apparently it wasn't too crazy bad but whatever um, the other thing well yeah uh, the operations tomorrow finally Hopefully, really hopefully that the doctor will make it. Um, and nothing goes wrong tomorrow, I really hope. You know, let's finally get it done. Um, I will make sure that I'm going to have either, either before pictures and after pictures once the, uh, that, uh, the lymphedema tumor has been cut out. Or maybe video, see how, you know, how brave I feel in uh, sharing a video, you know. Showing a bunch of people, um, you know, a picture or two is a little bit different than, you know, uh, an actual video sometimes, you know, it depends on what it is and, you know, it's a little bit more personal, more private, especially in the area where the tumor is and stuff, so, whatever. Um, I've told, uh, told you guys enough about my life story and you guys know a lot about me anyway already, so, you know. Uh, there's nothing that really can get me more any any embarrassment or any whatever. I've been just so desensitized about desensitized about some things being in hospital for so long that you know. Whatever. Um. Anyway, so yeah, two more surgery sometime in the afternoon. Uh, they can't even give me an exact time yet. So so maybe around noon, one o'clock, maybe even eleven a.m. Who knows? But um. Yeah, I'll try to update you guys after the surgery. Um, let's hopefully everything goes right. Um, I'm really nervous about this one because it's going to be a really a little complicated surgery. And well, yeah, they want to give me like an epidural and everything to um, in my spine, and I'm like, ah, yeah, I don't know about that one. I don't, I don't. What do you guys think? Should I? Mm, I'm kind of scared about that. Um, he said it'll be good for the first two days because the pain will be probably pretty crappy. So I'll probably be in a lot of pain for the first couple of days. I'm like, well, if there's any alternatives to um, getting an epidural, and uh, I'd rather open for other options. But I don't want to get the needle and spine. And I've had enough problems. I don't need any, you know, some of that extra problem to be happen because. Yeah, I just don't need any more extra crap happening to me. I've already struggled enough in my life with this shit, you know. Part of my French. I, I don't need something happening. Even though they say it's one in 150,000, um, that something can happen with an epidural. But I'm like, eh, I'll sleep on it. But I, I think I changed my mind. But whatever. Anyway. Um, yeah, so. I guess that's about it for now, guys. Um, tomorrow's surgery, like I said. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. I am definitely scared. Um, but anyway, just wanted to let you guys in on it, make sure, you know, I was up to date before I went uh, into surgery. Um, but yeah, until then, um, I guess, uh, Shiza. Um, yeah, stay strong guys, wish me luck tomorrow. I really and just pray for me that this finally goes through tomorrow and everything you know comes together as planned um, I mean it is, a, it is a big team of doctors that I need to you know come together you know it's not like you know one doctor goes in and has to do some stitches on a guy or do something it's, it's a fairly severe operation like complex or whatever yeah so there's a few doctors involved a couple of surgeons and da da da, da so yeah you know if one guy can't come as a team they can't do it without him so Anyway, tomorrow's the day. Until next time, talk to you guys. Stay strong. Remember, keep your head up. And keep on swimming. <laughs>